What is up you guys, Wonder Bro here with a message uh, that I feel like a lot of people need to hear and I'm just gonna be as blunt as possible. We're gonna jump right into it. Acceptance sucks. It sucks, right? Because what is acceptance? It means that you can't do anything to try to change your, your thoughts and your feelings. You just have to go through them. You have to embrace them, right? So the the feeling you get from acceptance, yeah, sometimes it can it can take the edge off. Sometimes it can feel pretty good, but majority of the time, acceptance sucks. And the reason I want to make this known is because there's a lot of people still weaponizing acceptance, right? I'm doing what Wonder Bro says. I'm living my life. He tells me to live my life. I'm living my life. I'm I'm not mentally fighting with my thoughts and feelings. There's no argument. I'm just, you know, I'm saying it is what it is, and I'm just. Anytime I'm tempted to worry about those thoughts, I'm just reminding myself, hey, you know, fuck it, it is what it is, and I'm seeing them through, and it's just not working. It's not working. The thoughts keep coming, the feelings keep coming, I'm doing something wrong. That is exactly why I'm making this video, to let you guys know, acceptance sucks. It's supposed to. You are facing these feelings, these thoughts, without doing compulsions. You're no longer allowed to argue with your thoughts and reassure yourself. You're no longer allowed to go down the rabbit hole. You're no longer allowed to escape situations. You're no longer allowed to use whatever compulsions or rituals you use to try to manipulate and change that anxiety. With acceptance, you're no longer allowed to do any of that stuff. So of course, it's going to suck, right? And this is this is important because if you're basing whether or not you're using acceptance right off of how you feel, well, how you feel for the time being is probably going to be pretty rough. Like I said, there may be moments where it feels you feel good when you're accepting, but for the most part, it's going to feel pretty rough. And if you're basing whether or not you're using acceptance correctly off the way that you feel, you're, you're screwed. You're screwed because you're not going to feel great, right? You're not going to feel great. And uh, that's the biggest problem I see. People trying to weaponize acceptance. Um, Wonder bro, I'm using your advice, but it's quote unquote not working. Wonder bro, I'm using your advice, but the thoughts and feelings are still there. They're going to be, right? It's supposed to suck. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. Of course, you're getting rid of your compulsions. You're getting rid of your rituals. You're not trying to flee the feelings anymore. You're doing things that are going to provoke them or they're, they're, they're just there all the time and you're no longer allowed to reassure yourself against those intrusive thoughts. You, you're only allowed to look at them and accept them for what they are and you're, you're no longer allowing yourself to fight with them, right? So of course it sucks. Of course it feels rough. That is part of facing, accepting, and embracing. So you can't base whether or not you're using acceptance correctly off of how you feel. That'll never work um, because this is about facing. This is about accepting. This is about going towards it and stop trying to run away from it, right? So of course it doesn't feel great. And when you look at it that way, you start to understand what I'm saying, right? Um, that if you're using acceptance quote unquote correctly, it's not going to feel great. Sometimes you might start to feel better as you see the results of your work. Sometimes, you know, the symptoms might let up, the thoughts might let up. But for the most part, no longer doing your coping methods, compulsions, rituals, no longer fighting with the thoughts and feelings and just focusing on other things in your life, living your life, and, and no longer trying to comfort yourself against these thoughts and feelings, no longer running from them. For the most part, it's not going to feel good, right? So... In this video, I just wanted to come on here and just be as straightforward as possible. It's what I always try to do. Acceptance sucks, and that's okay. I want you to embrace the burn. I want you to see it as growing pains. If you're pissing your anxiety off because you're not fighting with a thought or getting reassurance with a thought or you're not escaping a situation or you're not doing a compulsion or a ritual, if you're pissing your anxiety off, congratulations. That's good news, not bad news. That's what we want. Lose the fear of this stuff by going through it, by going towards it, all right? Not fighting with it, not running away from it. Piss your anxiety off. Go right ahead. That is good, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you've been. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, reach out to any of the Vacate Fear social media pages, uh, Facebook, Instagram, even the Discord. Get up with me. We'll talk about it. I'll try to help see you through it. And until next time, as always, stay awesome.